have the good fortune to meet with the Sadhguru. By his mercy, Bhakti Lata Bij, the seed of devotion, appears in the heart. Then we'll have to water that with hearing, chanting and remembering. And it will grow and eventually will take us to Goloka Brandavan. But some weeds may also grow along with that creeper. Nisidacha kuti nati jiva hingsan laba puja pratishtari yata upasakagan. So many weeds, worldly desires, unmeritorious, unvirtuous activities, duplicity, envy. So it's necessary to always protect our bhakti lata, the creeper of devotion. How can we protect our creeper of devotion? We are so tiny and so insignificant. Hmm? Our creeper of devotion is protected by Sadhu Sangha. So I'm feeling very protected today sitting between Maharaj and Savabhoma. Srila <laughs> Prabhupada opened so many preaching centers all over the world. But I think that after Srila Prabhupada, no one has opened more preaching centers spreading the glories of the Holy Name than Parapujapad Sri Bhakti Lok Paramadwaiti Maharaj. Is it true? Completely true. So, and also, very, very near and dear to Srila Prabhupada. Very near and dear to Parampuja Padsila Bhakti Rakshak Shidar Maharaj. And also very near and dear to my Gurudev. I want to say that when my Gurudev came to Germany for the first time and the second time, who organized that? Sava Bhavana Prabhu. <laughs> Paramaradhyatama Sila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, when he came to Berlin, stayed in the Bhajan Kutir of Sarva Bhavana Prabhu. <laughs> and he's so kind, I was also with him, I stayed there as well in one corner. <laughs> so, uh, I cannot express my gratitude to these great souls. I am only here begging for their mercy. So, Sarva Bhavana Prabhu, has already distributed such a Gambir Kata, very profound, with so many points, it, like an ocean, actually. And I became lost in that ocean. I don't know what I will tell next. Hmm? But very mercifully, he has uh, left some things on the plate that have not been spoken, so I will just try to take his remnants now. Nama Shristam Anamati Vishuchi Putra Atra Swarupam Rupam Tashagrajamuri Purim Maturim Goshtvartim Radha Kunda Magiribaram Oh Radhika Madhvasam Rapto Yas Pratita Kripaya Sri Guru Tam Natosmi Guravehi Kaura Chandrayo Radhikai Tadali Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namon Anandalila Maya Vigrahaya He Mabadibyat Chabi Sundaraya Tas my Mahaprema Prasapradaya Chaitanya Chandraya Namon Amaste Chaitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Chaitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Govinda Dhamo Dharamadaveti Govinda 
First of all, I offer my sastang dandavat puspanjali, my heart like flowers thousands and thousands of times at the lotus feet of my holy master, Asmadeya Paramaradya Tamaguru Pada Padma, Nittilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Shtota Rasata Sri Rupanuga Charivarya Sila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Param Gurudev to Srila Prabhupada and all of his Satparsha Dabrinda and to our entire Sri Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to Maharaj Ananda, Ananya Tidandipada Gan, Pujpad Sri Sarva Bhavana Prabhu, and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, Vanchakalpaturupa Stakripa, Sandhubayavata, Putitanam Pavani, O Vaishnavi Bhyo <coughs> Today we are observing the great festival of Sri Krishna Janmastami. Sri Krishna Janmastami Mahamotsavaki. <laughs> because on this day, in the year 3228 BC, in Bhadrapad, at the time of the Rohini Nakshatra, at Harshan Yoga, in the um, Astami of the um, Krishna Paksha of the Dark Fortnight, at midnight, Swayam Bhagavan, Satchidananda Bigraha, the Sajatiya Vidyatiya Swagat Bedu Rohita, Advaya Gyan Paratattva, Supreme Non-Dual Absolute Truth, very mercifully appeared in this world. Now many persons think that, that Krishna has come from Goloka Brandavan and he has come here. But this is not a fact. Actually, Shukadev Goswami Pad here said, Mathura Bhagavan Yatra Nityam Sanhito Hari. Krishna is always in Vrindavan, he's always in Brajamanda. Hmm? But he's aprakat, unmanifest. And at this time, he becomes prakat, manifest to the world. And at the time when the Supreme Lord becomes manifest to the world, all the avatars, they come down and they enter into him. Paravare Sho Mahadansa Yukto. All his answers. Eche Changsa Kala Pungsa. All the answers come into Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam. See Krishna's appearance pastime has many, many important teachings for us. First of all, we'll look at Mathura. Because Vrindavan, Braja Gokul, that is Madhurya, sweetness. Very confidential as Prabhu was explaining. Very difficult to understand. So first, let us consider what happened in Mathura. First of all, see Krishna appeared in the heart of Basudev Maharaj. Sattvam Vishuddham Basudeva Shabditam. If our heart is in Tamagun, in Rajagun, or even in Sattvagun, see Krishna will never appear there. 
Only should the Sattva Visheshatma Prema Suryanksu Samyabak, when the heart is filled with Vishuddha Sattva, pure transcendental existence, then Krishna appears there. So first he appeared in the heart of Basudev Maharaj. Because the word Basudev is actually a synonym of Vishuddha Sattva. And then by Diksha, Basudev Maharaj transferred Krishna into the heart of Devaki. So this is a very wonderful thing. When we receive mantra from our Gurudev, then Gurudev through mantra is giving Krishna himself to us. And if with great honor we'll remember our mantras every day, after some time, we'll see that see Krishna has come to us by the mercy of Gurudev. Yasya prasadat Bhagavat prasado, yasya prasadan nagati kutopi. So Krishna was in the womb of Devaki. All the demigods were offering prayers. Satya pratam, satya param tri satyam, satya sayonim nihitam cha satyay. Satyatmakam, satyat, satyasya satyam, mrita satyani tram satyatmakam tvam shanam prapanna. They prayed, Oh Krishna, you are satyavrat. That means you always keep your vow. And what is Krishna's vow? Ananyas chintayanto mam ye jana pariyapasate te sham nitya biyukta nam yoga ksayma vahamiham. If my devotees always think of me, always serve me, always worship me, they will never have any shortage or lacking or anything in their life, I personally carry whatever they need to them because Krishna loves to serve his devotees. His heart is very soft. He's always controlled by the love of his devotees. So, Satyabratam, Krishna keeps his word that he will protect his devotees. Krishna's words are always true. Then one may say, but wait a minute. Krishna was eating the um, dust on the bank of Jamuna. It, was, it may have been some of this dust he was sitting in when he was, began to eat the dust. And his mother said, oh, did you eat dust? Krishna said, Naham bakshitabam ambe. Hmm? I, oh mother, I have not eaten dirt. Was Krishna telling the truth or not? He's Satyabharat. He's Satyaparam Trisatyam. True in the past, the present and the future. Was it true or not? So Krishna's words are true. Because Madhya Yashoda looked in the mouth of Krishna and there she saw oh, not only the earth but all the planets and all the universes were present within Krishna. So no need to eat, everything is already there. But more than that, you know this, this dust of Vrindavan? It is not dirt. Chintamani prakara sadma sukalpa briksha laksha avriteshu surabhira bipalaya. It is chintamani, transcendental wish fulfilling jewels. So Krishna has not eaten dirt. So don't worry, Krishna tells the truth, and the devatas are telling the truth, praying to Krishna in the womb of Devaki. Satyabratam satyaparam trisatyam. And then, when the midnight came, then Krishna, he was not born. People say in Mathura it's the Janmastan, but really it is the Avirbhavstan. It is an appearance place. Krishna in the womb of Devaki became unmanifest, aprakat, and became prakat, manifest in front of Vasudev and Devaki. And how was he? Adbut, astonishing child. Hmm? Usually a child is born with eyes closed. But this child was born with big lotus eyes, wide open. Usually a child is born with a wispy hair. But he had long curling hair down to his shoulders. Usually a child is born naked, but he had kostuba money, necklaces, garland of flowers, pitambar, yellow cloth, and all ornaments, rings, anklets, and a golden crown. And in his hands he had the gada, the club, and the chakra in the upper hands. And the little baby was lifting his arms. Come on, Kamsar, I'm ready for you. Hmm? Don't be afraid, Basudev and Devaki, I'm ready. Hmm? So, but Devaki was thinking, if I show this baby to my sakis, they'll say, oh, look at my son. They'll say, aren't you afraid of making an offense? This is Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord is not the son of anyone. So Devaki prayed, please become like a Prakrit Shishu. And then two arms disappeared and became like a natural baby. Krishna said to Basudev Maharaj, carry me across the Jamuna to Gokul. 
and exchange me with the child who was born to Yashoda Maya. So, as Prabhu was explaining, Madhi Yashoda gave birth to twins. First to Krishna and then to Yoga Maya Devi. When Yoga Maya Devi appeared, as soon as she appeared in Gokul, at exactly the same time, Madhi Yashoda fell asleep and in Mathura, everyone fell asleep. The gods fell asleep. The shackles on the hands and feet of Basudai Maharaj opened. And the gates of the prison cell opened. When Basudai Maharaj picked up the child and said, Oh my son. He was explaining beautifully how he was crying tears of joy. And he picked up the baby and said, Oh my son. And then his shackles fell off and the gate became opened. It has a very important meaning for us. What is that? When we relate to Krishna with Sambandha Gyan, in a particular relationship, Oh Krishna, you are my Lord. Oh Krishna, you are my friend. Or in the case of Basudev Maharaj, Oh Krishna, you are my son. And best of all, like gopis of Vrindavan, Matpranatastu Saivanapra. Oh Krishna, you are Pranavalab. You are my sweetheart. And best of all, Madishana Tatwe Brajapipina Chandram Bajabane Sunim Tamna Tatwe Tadatkula Sakitwe Tulalitam. Oh Krishna, I have no direct relationship with you. You are the beloved of Radhika, and I will be Radhika's maidservant. This is the best Sambandha with Krishna. So the teaching here, when Basudev Maharaj picked up the child and said, Oh my son, all the shackles fell off, the prison became open, teaches us that when we chant the holy name of Krishna with a very thick Sambandha relationship, then or oh, one will easily become completely free from Maya, the shackles of Maya will fall off. Hmm? So, if a person is chanting the name of Krishna with no feeling, with no relationship, making offense, this Nama Parad, it will just fulfill material desires. Hmm? But if you give up Nam Aparad, then the chanting will be what? Nam Abhas. And Nam Abbas will give Bukti, liberation. But how will Prem come? Only when we chant the holy name with some Bandagyan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. In his commentary, Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Sotaku said, What's the meaning of Sankirtanam? It means, Sarvato Bhavena Kirtan. Hmm? That means a Kirtan with Sarva Bhavana. <laughs> no, Sarva Bhavan, Sarva Bhava Kirtan means that Kirtan which is performed without Aparad, without Anartha, in the association of Sadhus and with Sambandha Gyan. So when that Kirtan, Sarva Tobhavena Kirtan, Sankirtan is performed, then all the shackles of Maya fall off and then Prem will come into our hearts. Basudev Maharaj set out with the baby and came to the bank of Jamuna. Anantadev was covering his head from the torrential rain. And with the protection of Anantadev, gradually, gradually he arrived in Gokul, put down baby Krishna and took Yoga Maya. Now, many people think that Krishna is born in Mathura and that he is only the foster child of Nanda and Yashoda. But really, that Krishna born in Mathura is the Vaibhav Prakash. That is opulent manifestation of Krishna. And Swayam Bhagavan, Yashoda Nandan, Nanda Nandan, in Vrindavan, he is the original form. Ananyopekshiki Yadrupam Swayam Rupas Uchate. Swayam Rup. Swayam Bhagavan means that form of God who is not dependent on any other form for his Aishwarya or Madhurya. If Ram has any Aishwarya or Madhurya, if Nashingadev has any Aishwarya, if any form of God has any power or sweetness, they have all borrowed it from Sri Krishna. He is the origin and he does not depend on anyone else. So he is called Swayam Rup. Hmm? So someone may say, but where is it written in Shastra that Krishna was born from the womb of Yashoda? 
So in our Gaudiya Siddhanta, it has been established, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Radya Bhagavanja Prajeshatanyastha Dhamma Prindavanam Ram Yaka Chi Dupasna Prajabudu Vagena Yaka Alpita Srimad Bhagavatam Pramanam Amalam Prema Mahatopamam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatradara Napara That the Amal pra, uh, Praman, the best evidence, is Srimad Bhagavatam. So here and there, but in a hidden way, as he was explaining so many points, he inspired me so much today. In a hidden way, Srila Vyasadev has given, Shukadev Goswami and others, other authorities have spoken about the mystery of Sri Krishna's birth as the son of Madhya Shoda. So first of all, when mm, Basudev Maharaj came back to Mathura and the prison guards heard the baby crying, they called, oh, come Samaj, come, come. The eighth child of Devaki is here. So then Kamsamaraj wanted to come and immediately kill that child. And he wanted to smash the child on a stone, but she flew up into the air, kicked him in the head, hmm? and said to him, Yatrakhava Purva Shatru, the enemy who will, who, he who was the enemy in your previous life has been born elsewhere. So to all of the residents of Mathura, the Brahmins of Mathura, the Dvivedi, Trivedi and Chaturvedi is my pranam to you, but I cannot agree that Krishna is born in Mathura, never, never and never. Uh, because the yoga, that is Mahamaya, this is very important. When Basudev Maharaj picked up the baby girl, it was Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya is the Leela Shakti of Krishna. So when a person has a Seva Vritti, the mood of service, then Yoga Maya comes and manages all their life. And Yoga Maya, Maya means the energy that arranges Yoga meeting with Krishna. So when we give up the Boga Britti, the desire to enjoy the world, and we have Seva Britti, mood of service to our Gurudev, oh, then Yoga Maya will come in our life and arrange for us to meet with Sri Krishna. Hmm? So that was Yoga Maya. But when the same Yoga Maya was in the hands of Kamsa Maharaj, because Kamsa Maharaj, he has Boga Britti, the exploitative mood to exploit the world, to taste and enjoy the senses of this world. So then Yoga Maya became Mahamaya, Durga, with many weapons, ferocious, and kicked him in the head. So this is a teaching to all of us. If you will have Boga Britti, you try to enjoy separately from Krishna, and you don't have Seva Britti, then Maya will kick us in the head. <laughs> huh? Has anyone ever been kicked in the head by Maya? Yeah? Oh. That, but that became the cause of receiving Krishna's mercy and being killed because Mahamaya, by touching him with his feet, blessed him because she was his Ishta Devi. Yes. So, everything is Krishna's mercy, directly or indirectly. It's yes, a beautiful point. So, Shukadeva Goswami, when Mm, the, she appeared, he said, at that time, Adrisyat Anujavisha, no. At that time, the younger sister of Krishna appeared there. So, she just came from Gokul, so that is the Praman, the proof, that Krishna was born from the womb of Madhya Shoda. And she said, the one who will kill you has been born elsewhere in another place. So that proves that Krishna was born from Madhya Shoda. Shortly afterwards, you know that Gagacharya came to do the uh, Nam Karan, Nam Sanskaran of Krishna in the Goshala of uh, Nanda Maharaj in Gokul. And at that time, also, Gagacharya, he's a great authority. He cannot make a mistake. So, Gagacharya, he said, Pragayam Vasudeva Sya Kechit Jata Stavatmaja. Sometimes your son is born as the son of Vasudev. So his name is Vasudev, sometimes, because in Pragaya means in the past. He was the son of Vasudev. But Atmaja, now he's Atmaja, he's your son. Yes. So then Gagacharya, he also said, Tasman Nandatmajo Yamte Narayana Samo Gunay. Oh, this son of Nanda Maharaj, Atmaja, again. He's saying, son of Nanda Maharaj, not the son of Vasudev. He will have qualities just like Narayan, not the same as Narayan. Why? Because Krishna has more qualities than Narayan. Venu Maduri, Rupa Maduri, Leela Maduri, and Prema Maduri. Such sweetness, which is not found anywhere in Lord Narayan. 
Also, Lord Brahma, he has said, No midyate brabapasay tadadambaraya, Ganjava tangsa paripichala sanmukaya, Vanyastra jaka valavetar vishana venu, Lakshmasriye mridupate pashupangu jaya. Lord Brahma is authority, he is the Adi Guru of our Sampradaya, and he has said, Pashupanga Jaya. Krishna is born from Pashupa, from a Gopal. Hmm? After Mother Yashoda had bound Krishna with the ropes of love, it had never been done before. Has Kaushalya bound Lord Ram with a rope? Never, never happened. So Shukadev Goswami was in ecstasy. He said, Nayam Sukapo Bhagavan Deinam Gopika Suta Gyaninam Chatmabhuta Nam Yata Bhakti Matamiha. No one can control Krishna, like Madhya Yashoda and the bridge Basis, who never think, they never think that Krishna is God. They cannot imagine for a moment. They think, Harim Samanyan Atmaja. Madhya Yashoda is thinking Krishna is my natural born son. So here Shukadev Goswami is saying, Nayam Sukapo Bhagavan Dehinam Gopika Sutta. Krishna is the son of a gopi, not the son of a katriyani, of a person from the royal family in Mathura. So in this way, in many, many places in Srimad Bhagavatam, even gopis have said, Jayati te adikam, janmana praja. And gopis are the supreme authority. Someone may say, how are gopis the supreme authority? Supreme authority is a sruti, the Vedas. Hmm? But actually, Udiv Ji has said, Asam maho charana rain udusha mahamsam brindava nekim api gomala tau shajinam ya justa jam swajanam aya pacham tehitwa bejo mukunda padavim sruti bevim rigyam. The Vedas personified are searching for the foot, foot dust of Sri Krishna. But Sri Krishna always searching for the foot dust of Radharani Smaragara Lakandanam Mamasira Simandanam Dei Pada Palava Mudharam. In the end of the 10th canto, you can see the prayers of the Vedas personified. They have said very clearly. Oh. You will go, and it's very heartbreaking for us, but I request only one thing. Please come back tomorrow for Srila Prabhupada's appearance day. He should come back tomorrow, right? Tomorrow yeah. evening for Shri Prabhupada's appearance day. No, more, more louder, louder. Hari Ho! Hari Ho! Jai! So the Vedas personified have prayed. Nibrita Marunma Naksyadur Yoga Yujori Dayan Munayar Pase Tada Ryopi Yosmarnam. Stiyaru Ragendu Bogabu Jadanda Visaktidio Vayam Apicha Asama Asama Deshangri Saroja Sudha. The Vedas personified said that the yogis who control their senses and their pran and can meditate very deeply, so they may get liberation, but it's not certain. But the demons who try to kill Krishna, they automatically get liberation. So, what's the use of all this yoga sadhana? If even by hating Krishna, you can get a higher destination than those yogis. So the best thing is to love Krishna and how to love him? We want to follow in the mood of the Braj Gopis who are always thinking of being embraced by the strong snake-like arms of Sri Krishna. So, gopis have said, Jayati te dikam janmana braja. Krishna was born in Braja, not in Mathura. And they are superior to the Vedas. The gopis don't need to, they reject the Vedas. They are breaking all the rules or transgressing all dharma to meet with Krishna. Hmm? But the gopis don't need to follow the Vedas. Why? Because the Vedas are following the gopis. Arigo! So in many places in Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been proved that Krishna was born in Gokul. So now let's come to Gokul. What happened in Gokul? Uh, in the morning time, the sister of Nanda Maharaj, he has two sisters, Nandini and Sunanda. So Sunanda came from the Prasutigar, from the maternity ward of, Nanda, of the Madhya Shoda where Krishna had been born, and came to Nanda Maharaj and said to him, Oh, you have a son. A son has been born. Nanda Maharaj was very happy. 
So immediately he called for the brahmanas. Oh, bring the brahmanas. We'll have to do all the auspicious ceremonies. The brahmanas were standing around. They're always standing around outside Nanda Maharaji's palace. They're always ready to come there. But when the messenger said, come, come, Nanda Maharaji is calling you. Then on this day, they wanted to assert their own greatness. So they said, yes, yes, we're coming. Just after some time, we'll come when we finished our important business. So Nanda Maharaj was calling again and again, Brahmanas, come, come. So then the Brahmanas, they came. And they said to Nanda Maharaj, Badai, Badai. <laughs> so everyone in Braji is very, very crooked, you know. Nanda Maharaj said, Badai, Badai. What, what Badai? Celebrate, it means congratulations. Congratulations about what? The Brahmanas said, Aha, you cannot cheat us, Nanda Maharaj. We know because we are Vedagya, we are Tantragya, we are Daivagya. We know all the scriptures and we have already made the horoscope and we know that today you have a boy, you have a son. And they gave the horoscope to Nanda Maharaj and he took it and touched it to his head and then put it in a very worshipful, respectful place. So then Nanda Maharaj, he said, I never had a son before. Nanda Maharaj was 80 years old, more than 80 years old. So Nanda Maharaj, he said, what do I do now? What do I have to do? The Brahman has said, first you have to do Snata, Suchi, Alankrita. You have to take a ceremonial bath. So all the bridge basses, they set off. There were musicians playing drums and flutes and veenas and Tanpur. And there were uh, Brahmanas chanting Vedic mantras and people blowing horns and with a big procession Nanda Maharaj came to the bank of Jamuna. Then he climbed up upon a very high a burj, you know, a pagoda. And then he jumped into the water. He dived into the Jamuna and when he hit the water, then the water splashed. And just as a person offers tarpan, they have to offer oblations to the devatas and to their an the pitris, their ancestors. When Nanda Maharaj, when Nanda Maharaj dived into the Jamuna for his ceremonial bath, then the water splashed and that was the tarpan to the pitris, to his ancestors. And all his thousands of generations of ancestors became satisfied. So then the bridge basses were on the bank watching. Where did he go? Where did he go? Hmm? Because the Yamuna is very flooded, because in the previous night it rained so much. And then after a long time, Nanda Maharaj was swimming under the water in ecstasy. And then in the middle of the Yamuna, he popped up, I'm here, I'm here. And he was swimming around and playing. The Brahmanas called him, oh, now is not the time for playing, come on, you have many things to do. And so they brought Nanda Maharaj out from the water. And now it was time for, to make his tilak. Because Suchi, first Snata Suchi Alankrita in Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami is saying, 10th canto, 5th chapter, 1st verse, Snata Suchi Alankrita. You have to become pure, but only taking baths you don't become pure. You become pure only after you have done Om Keshavaya Namaha, Om Narayanaya Namaha, Om Madhavaya Namaha, Om Govindaya Namaha. 12 places Nanda Maharaj did Tilak. And then Alankrita decorations. Nanda Maharaj put on very beautiful silk pajama and with a big skirt with gold and silver in it. Then he took a um, patri, one big cloth, very, very colorful, and wrapped it around his belly. And his belly is a bit big, so he made it tight to lift his belly up. So his belly was up here. Hmm? And then he took a colorful printed cloth and made a big pagari, a big, big turban. So as you know, every time you make a turban, it does not come out perfect. Hmm? Just like when you play music, sometimes it's not effective. Sometimes when you cook a pudding, sometimes it's not so tasty. Hmm? And sometimes you put on a turban and some, it doesn't look so good. But on this day, by the arrangement of Yoga Maya, this turban was so perfect. Every print on the cloth was in the right place. And the friends of Nanda Maharaj said, Oh, today your turban is so fine. So then Nanda Maharaj put some rings on each one of his toes. He put rings on each one of his fingers. He put on necklaces. He put on bangles on his arm. One bangle with the mouth of a lion. A bangle with the shape of an ornament of an elephant. And he put some beeswax in his moustache. 
and made it go up at the ends like this. <laughs> so then he put the mm, domala, two strings of pearls on his turban. And then on top of the turban, he put a golden crown. And then on one side, he put an ornament. It was a flower made of jewels. And on the other side, he put a white peacock feather. Hmm? And then he took a golden staff in his hand with many jewels on it. And he was standing there. And all bridge buses saw Nanda Maharaj and said, Oh, you appear to be Vatsalya Rasa personified. Full of love for his son. Vatsalya Rasa personified. One of the bridge buses was complaining. Oh, he's an old man. Why is he putting on so many decorations? Nanda Maharaj said, Oh, you may be old, but I'm not old. Because today I have a son. <laughs> this is the nature of Vrindavan. All have love, but it comes out like criticism. <laughs> you see? Because Prem makes everything reverse. Prem makes everything reverse. Deko me sunaye eka bata aname Brahma sanatana raho gokule me kil Nanda yashoka jaki dwa Prema nadia ki sada ulti bahidhar so Prem is like this, you know, Prem is like a river, a river always flows from up to down. But the river of Prem is so strange, it flows from down to up. That means those who are Trinado, please, Suni, Chena, more humble than a blade of grass. Then Prem picks them up and takes them to Goloka Vrindavan. Hmm? Prem Nadiaki Sada Ulta Bahidar. The river of love flows in the opposite direction and turns everything upside down. So in Braj, if someone gives you a compliment, then you're upset. You think it's maybe it's an insult? And in Braj, if someone will insult you, become very happy. Stotram yatra tatastatam prakatayat chitasya date biatam ninda pi pramadam prayatsiti pariha sasriam bibriti do shena shaitam gunena gurutam kainapinatan viti premna swara sikasya kasya tidayam vikri ti prakriya. Rupa Goswami has written the words of Yoga Maya Devi. But this is the nature of Vrindavan. You give someone a compliment, they're upset. You criticize them, they're very happy. <laughs> if you see a fault, then your love does not go down. And if you see a good quality, your love does not go up. Because this love does not depend on the faults or the qualities of others, it's spontaneous. Completely natural love. So in this way, British Basis are joking and insulting each other. The Brahmanas were tricking Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj is tricking the Brahmanas. Uh, one person is saying, oh, why are you dressing up so much like this? This is their nature. So then, uh, Nanda Maharaj, he went and he met with Yashoda and he did the ceremonies for ba now baby Krishna. Baby Krishna has been born. So you know, you have to do the uh, ceremony of writing with uh, honey, ghee and yogurt on the tongue with a piece of gold. And write Hring, the Sarisvati Bij. Uh, he wrote that on the tongue of baby Krishna. <laughs> and he was uh, so happy. So then, the maidservants in Braj, they called out, Oh, why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? Nanda Maharaj has had a son. And Nanda Maharaj was decorated. All his friends, the men were decorated. Now it was time for the ladies to be decorated. So all the ladies, young and old of Braj, they decorated themselves with Dwadash Abaran, 12 types of golden ornaments, and Sola Sringa, 16 types of cosmetics. And even though they walk very slowly and gracefully, they were rushing to the house of Nanda Maharaj with their bodies jiggling here and there and calling their children, come on, come on, don't be late, don't be late. And so they arrived there and they came to Mother Yashoda and they said, oh, Saki Yashoda, you must be very proud that you have a son today. Mother Yashoda said, no, I am not proud at all because I know it's all only by your blessings on me. Yashoda me yaki! So then the lady said, let us see the face of your son. So Mother Yashoda was, there was a cloth over Krishna's face. And Mother Yashoda was about to reveal her baby. But what happened? The Datri, that is the midwife who had delivered the baby. She said, no, you cannot see the face of the baby until you give a Dakshina to me. Right? <laughs> The Indian people who are here, they understand. <laughs> Try to learn this Vedic Sanskriti. 
No, you cannot see the baby until you give the dakshina to me. So they went to give a dakshina to the, to the midwife. She said, no, no, no. I want the dakshina from your shoulder first. Madhi Ashura said, I'll give you later. She said, no, no. Because if someone says, I make a pledge that after some time I'll give you this dakshina. But they always don't give it. So if there's some dakshina, you have to give it now. <laughs> So then Madhi Ashoda called the servants and the servants gave whatever she wanted to that Datri, to that mm, nursemaid. But then the Datri was so overwhelmed with love, she thought, I am not only Datri, why is only Yashoda, the mother of Krishna, he is also my son. So then she took her own necklace and the Datri out of praying for Krishna threw her necklace out of the window. Many bridge buses was there, one poor person caught it and thought, oh, it's Mahaprasad from Yashoda and, and took it like this. Huh? So then Mother Yashoda uncovered the face of baby Krishna and all saw his beauty. Krishna Kanaya Lala Ki So then all the bridge buses, they assembled in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj and they began to celebrate. This festival is also called Dadi Gada Mahotsav. It means yogurt mud, yogurt mud, the festival of yogurt mud, because the bridge buses are throwing so much yogurt at each other and smearing each other's faces with yogurt. And there's yogurt all over the ground. The ground becomes the Dadi Gada, yogurt mud festival. So at first, all the ladies were in the middle and they were dancing, you know, they cover themselves like this and they dance. And the men were around the outside. But whatever dancing movements the ladies were doing, then the men were seeing those movements and then around the outside they were also dancing. So in Braj Mandal, you have to understand, this Brajabasi dancing is not ordinary. This Brajabas dance is illustrating the life of Gokul, the life of a Braja. So in Gokul, then what do you do? Sometimes you have to the thresh the wheat. So they're dancing like this. <laughs> this means oh, today we're threshing the wheat. Sometimes you have to plow the field. So they're holding on to the plow and going behind the bullock. Eh? Sometimes you have to water the garden, water the plants. So then they're taking a, a pitcher and like this. Sometimes you know, if you live in a rural area, you're a farmer. Then you have to watch the weather, the seasons, when the sun is rising and the moon is rising. So sometimes they're dancing, oh, the moon is rising, oh, the sun is setting. <laughs> the moon is rising, the sun is setting. Like, so these are the, the dance movements. Sometimes the men, they have to take a boat across the Jamuna. So they're... <laughs> right? <laughs> and, 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 and in Koli... Uh, Ah uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Lati Danda Mahotsav. <laughs> so in this way, oh, they began to sing and dance and, and celebrate the birth of Nandalal. Jiyo Shamala Hala, Jiyo Shamala Hala, Pili Teri Pagari Arankala. Jiyo! Everyone dancing! Shamala hala, jiyo shamala hala, pili teri pagari arankala. Everyone! Shamala hala, jiyo shamala hala, pili teri pagari arankala. Goku me ayo nandala la, oh! Oh, Krishna was crying. So then Nanamaji's sister Sunanda came and said, Oh Kana, don't cry. Mataro Kana, ua ua. Sanjave Sunanda Bua Sanjave 
In this festival there are so many preparations. Kir, Jalebi, Puris, Malpua, Kiri, Jalebi, Puri, Ladu, Pua. Dancing was going on. We are there actually in this chapter. It is in this chapter of Shrimad Bhagavatam. It said Sri Shuka Uvacha. Sri Shuka Uvacha means Shukadev Goswami is Sri. Very beautiful. And why is he beautiful? Because he's crying. His hairs are standing on end. He's trembling. He's experiencing the Sattvic Bhavs. But there's another reason why he's Sri Suk. Because he was so absorbed in that festival, he was actually there. And just as the bridge basses were all covered in yogurt, from throwing yogurt at each other, when Shukadev Goswami was speaking this chapter, fifth chapter of 10th canto, then Shukadev Goswami was sitting and the yogurt began to appear on his face and his body in the ecstasy because he was actually there. So Sri Shuka Uvacha. Now all the ladies were dancing and the men were on the outside and they were doing also <laughs> the actions. But the men thought, look, why is it only the ladies dancing? We will also show our dancing skills. Hmm? But then they thought, this is Nanda Maharaj's day. His son has been born. It will be improper if we begin the dancing. Nanda Maharaj should begin the dancing. So some of the senior men sent some servants. Nanda Maharaj was at some distance, greeting guests and taking care of guests with great hospitality. So they went and they said, Oh, Nanda Maharaj, please come and join the dancing. Nanda Maharaj was very happy. His son has been born, but he was a bit grave. Eh? Eh? Like some of you, you are sitting and... What is this? What's it? You are not like him. He is completely there. In Gokul. Eh? So Nanda Maharaj was a bit grave. He was thinking... Oh, if I, I'm an old person, if I go and dance, then all will criticize me. They'll say, oh, who does he think he is? Is he the only person in the world who ever had a son? <laughs> so Nanda Maharaj was being grave. So then the servants came back, say, where is he? Oh, he's not coming. Then they told the servant, go and tell him his eldest brother, Upananda, is calling. So then the servant said, oh, Nanda Maharaj, your eldest brother, Upananda, is calling you. He's there in the courtyard. At once, Nanda Maharaj came there. And when he arrived, he was looking around. Where is Upananda? Where is Upananda? And as he was looking around, one bridge basi came up from behind with a big silver pot of milk and poured it over the head of Nanda Maharaj. Idam snadiyam Nanda Maharaj Ayaswa. <laughs> now Nanda Maharaj was completely soaked in milk. Hmm? And the bridge basi said to him, Oh. Dudan, Dudan Nihao. Putan, Falau. Yeah. Oh, 
Now take bath in milk and celebrate the birth of your son. Then all the gravity of Nanda Maharaj went far away and he also began to dance. Jiyo Shamala Hala, Jiyo Shamala Hala, Pili Teri Pagariya Dhanga Kala, Jiyo! And all of Braj was filled with Ananda. Nanda, Nandayati Iti Nanda. Nanda means he who makes everyone filled with Ananda. Hmm? So, not only that, but even Narad Muni came there. Narad Muni wanted to have darshan of the child. So he, he came and said to Nanda Maharaj, Can I have a darshan of your son? Na of course. And so then Narad Muni went and Mother Yashoda took baby Krishna and put Krishna on the feet of Narad Muni. Narad Muni went there, he wanted to get blessings, but what happened? <laughs> Mother Yashoda put the baby Krishna on his feet and he could not say anything. Because he did not want to disturb the mood of Braj, where no one thinks that Krishna is Bhagavan, Lord Narayan is Bhagavan. And by the mercy of Lord Narayan, Nanda Maharaj has a Lala, has a baby. <laughs> so then Narad Muni went outside and then Lord Shiva arrived there. Lord Shiva arrived there in the form of a yogi. And he said to Narad Muni, said, I want to have darshan of the face of Krishna. He said, yes, yes, go and ask Nanda Maharaj. He's so generous. Nanda's to Atmajat Pane, Jatalada Mahamana. On this day, he was more generous than ever before. Ask him, he'll give anything you want. So Lord Shiva, in the form of a yogi, came to Nanda Maharaj. He said, can you give me darshan? Nanda Maharaj said, yes, what do you want? He said, I only want to have the darshan of the face of your son. Nanda Maharaj said, of course, yes, you go there. So then when this yogi was going there, then Mother Yashoda and Asaki said, no, 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 no outsiders. <laughs> the Indians understand. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> said, no, no, no outsiders can come and see the baby. They might do a buddhi nasha, right? That means do an evil eye and make the baby cry. So then they told him, no, no, no outsiders. I'm sorry, you have to go, go. <laughs> so then they did not know it was Lord Shiva. So then Lord Shiva went outside and he sat down in a lonely place and he was very upset, feeling separation from Krishna. Oh Kanaya, oh Gopal, when will I have your darshan? Everyone is fortunate except for me. And when Lord Shiva, Vaishnavanam Yatha Shambhu, he is a great Vaishnava, when he was feeling separation, then baby Krishna inside the house, wow, wow, he began to cry. Mother Shauda was thinking, why is my baby crying and crying and crying? So then Narad Muni thought, Mahadev is my good friend, I should help him. So then Narad Muni came to Mother Yashoda and said, you know, I know one yogi. And this yogi is very powerful. If he will just look at the face of your son, then your son will be, because, uh, if he, he will see your son and your son will see him, Lord Shiva will be very pleased. And then your son will become completely peaceful. <laughs> he didn't say it was Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva will be very pleased <laughs> if this yogi can see your son. So, and then he'll become peaceful. So then Mother Yashoda thought, all right, all right. So then she put the kajal, you know, one black dot here to protect from Buri Naja. One black dot here, one black dot here and here and on the soles of the feet also. And wrapping him in a black cloth, she bought him and then they called that yogi. So then Mother Yashoda opened the cloth and when Kr Krishna was crying, but when Lord Shiva had the darshan of Krishna, then he became peaceful and he was smiling. Mahadeva ki jai, Krishna kanaya lala ki jai. So Lord Shiva was thinking, I'm not going to make the same mistake as Narad Muni. Because Madhya Shoda put the baby Krishna on Narad Muni's feet. So Lord Shiva, he said, he said, Oh Yashode, Brajashwari, Queen of Braja, when I was a little boy, my mother gave me a necklace with a tiger claw to protect me. But as my hair became long and I had the jatta, dreadlocks, then this tiger claw became entangled in my hair. And now the jatta were tied up on the head of Lord Shiva. If any baby will touch this tiger claw, then they'll have all auspiciousness and never be troubled by anything. So if you could just take the baby and place him on my head and his feet will touch my hair, then he'll get the touch the power of that tiger claw. 
So mother, your shoulders are very good. And she put baby Krishna on the head of Lord Shiva. And Lord Shiva got the first dust of Sri Krishna. So he was more successful than Narad Muni. So we'll then put baby Krishna to rest there. Charamara, Charamara, Kari Palanda. <laughs> and rock the cradle of Krishna. He's sleeping now. I'll not make any more noise. Excuse me. Hare Krishna. <laughs>